Welcome back to the happy hour, guys, and welcome to Jamaica. Yeah, you ever feel like it's just time to get away? Well, we did. Our first episode in the Caribbean and the Appleton Rum Estate. We are in the Nassau Valley that has in it about 10,000 acres of sugar cane. So let's talk history. They've been making sugar on this site since 1655, and they've been making rum there since before the United States was a country, 1749. In the 1900s, the distillery was bought by the J. Ray and Nephew Company Limited, and it's still owned by them today. This particular distillery actually two years ago bottled the oldest rum in the world. 50 years old to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Jamaica's independence. And it all starts with this, this actual sugar cane. I want to have this every single day of my life. So did you know that sugarcane is actually a grass? <laughs> yeah, it's a very tall grass that has a ton of natural sugar in it. And this is the old school way that they used to get the sugar out of the cane back in the day. That poor little donkey going around and around. Using this method and that old press, they would get 60 to 70% of the sugar out of the sugarcane. You see this, there's almost a, a greenish cast to it. It tastes it's really sweet, but it has like a vegetable. Mm. Like grass. It tastes like really, really sweet grass. And when you take that sugar cane juice and boil it down, you get what they call wet sugar, which is a combination of sugar crystals and molasses and a ton of vitamins and minerals. I just tasted the wet sugar. You see, it's higher in iron and vitamin B. You can almost taste the iron. You can taste the minerals in it. It's amazing, but it's, it's robust. It's really hard. There's a lot going on in here. So then they're going to take a big centrifuge, separate the sugar and the molasses out, sell the sugar, and ferment the molasses. There's a molasses tank back there that holds 101,000 gallons. I wonder if they allow swimming. The fermentation here takes two days. Two days to get a 7% alcohol wash. They call it dead wash. A dead wash goes into the pot stills and magic begins to happen. And remember before when we said they got about 60 to 70% of the sugar out of the sugar cane? Well, these days with their process, they get over 90%. And the dried up husk that's left behind how cool is this? They use it to power the distillery. After it's all burned up, there's a tiny amount of ash, and that goes back out into the sugarcane fields. It's the circle of life and booze. So we were just in the distillery itself. They didn't allow any pictures in there. It's a proprietary process, but what we will tell you is that they use a combination here of copper pot stills and a stainless steel column still. They distill both ways at different proofs, creating different marks, and then they age down in Kingston, they truck it out here down to Kingston, they age it there, and then they have a master blender, who by the way, is a woman, the first woman to be the master blender of a place like this in the world, and they blend together and then they bottle. By the way, it smells like molasses and brown sugar. Most distilleries smell like bread baking because part of the process is creating this wort that's made of grain, but here, because we're going from sugar cane, it smells like molasses, it smells like brown sugar, it smells like candy being made which is what my wife said, the happy hour gal. Happy hour gal on the camera today. Awesome. Yep, suffice it to say that the Appleton Rum Estate tour was one of the most picturesque tours we've ever taken, right down to the aging facility that they have on site. In scale, it doesn't even compare to the rack houses they have in Kingston, but it was a nice way to illustrate the process. And another thing that was pretty cool, at the end of the tour, because no one arrived in a car, everyone was on a tour bus, the bar was open. We tasted our way through eight marks, including the most popular rum in Jamaica, the Ray and Nephew Overproof. The Overproof is an unaged white rum. That means it spends no time in the barrel, and it goes into the bottle pretty much how it comes off the still, at 63% alcohol. Jamaicans use it for, well, everything from the obvious to curing insect bites, curing headaches, and clearing your sinuses. <laughs> Just how popular is this rum? In Jamaica, they sell 6 million bottles a year. The population of Jamaica is only 2.7 million, and that includes kids. And while we did drink our share of Overproof on this trip, our favorite was the 12-year spirit. 12 years in the barrel, wow, that's some magic right there. So should you find yourself in Jamaica, and this time of year we highly recommend that you do, you really cannot miss with the Appleton Rum Estate. The liquids are amazing, and the tour is second to none. Who knows? Maybe it'll give you that little bit of courage that you need to go jump in a waterfall. So travel safely, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.
By the way, it's our honeymoon. And we're still being happy, our people. Because it's important. <laughs>